In 1867, Kansas State University held its first commencement. Three women and two men graduated that year. As the first land-grant university in the nation, this fledgling university had a vision of providing innovative education to all people. That early vision has continued through to the present. With over 250 majors and a diverse student body, including students from all 50 states and more than 100 countries. Becoming one of the nation's top 50 public research universities by 2025 is today's vision for tomorrow. With academic programs among the best in the nation and professors who are leaders in their fields, Kansas State University is an international leader in teaching, learning, service, and research. Today's graduates join over 200,000 alumni who are proud to call K-State their alma mater. Congratulations, and thank you to all those who have supported them through their undergraduate experience at Kansas State University.
Good afternoon. I'm Sarah Rosencrantz, Interim Associate Dean, and it is my honor to welcome each of you to this joyous occasion. We in the College of Health and Human Sciences join family and friends in celebrating the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2021. Your recognition is a culmination of many hours of hard work and dedication. While today will not receive a traditional handshake with your diploma, please know there are an abundance of smiles behind our masks, and we are sending you the warmest congratulations on your accomplishments. At this time, I invite you to stand and sing the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. As I introduce today's platform party, please hold your applause until all are introduced. On my right, your left, Dr. Craig Harms, Interim Dean, President Richard Myers, Dr. Charles Tabor, Provost and Executive Vice President, Amy Button Renz, President and CEO, K State Alumni Association. Dr. Josh Umber, Commencement Speaker and Physician, Atlas MD. Molly Killalay, Student Commencement Speaker and Degree Candidate in Communication Science and Disorders. Dr. Brandon Haddock, Coordinator, Diversity and Multicultural Student Affairs. On my left, your right, Dr. Mindy Markham, Associate Professor and Interim Department Head, Applied Human Sciences. Dr. Tondaleo Kidd, Professor and Department Head, Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dr. Kevin Roberts, Professor and Interim Head, Hospitality Management. Barbara, Dr. Barbara Anderson, Professor and Department Head, Interior Design and Fashion Studies. Dr. Emily Maley, Associate Professor, Kinesiology. Dr. Martin Say, Associate Professor and Department Head, Personal Financial Planning. 
Dr. Shauna Jordan, Assistant Dean and Research Assistant Professor, Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. A round of applause. At this time, please welcome Dean Harms as he recognizes our student commencement speaker. <clears throat> Graduates, your families and your faculty are so proud of your accomplishments. We expect that the future will hold great promise for each of you. Today, we celebrate your accomplishments at K-State. Molly Killalay will represent the graduating class as the fall 2021 student commencement speaker. Molly, will you please join me at the podium? Molly will graduate summa cum laude with a bachelor's degree in family studies and human services with an emphasis in communication sciences and disorders and a minor in human development and family science. The daughter of Kevin and Kathy Killalay of Shawnee, Molly has been an active student during her time at K-State. She is a member of both the Kansas State Student Speech Language Hearing Association and the National Student Speech Hearing Language Organization. In her last semesters, Molly dedicated herself to numerous campus organizations. She is a research assistant in the Auditory Learning and Cognition Laboratory with the Department of Psychology, a section leader with the Audacity Acapella Group, works for the Academic Achievement Center, and became vice president of Kappa Omicron New Honor Society. To cap off her final spring semester, Molly chased and captured the title of champion in intramural mini golf. After graduation, Molly will continue her journey to becoming a speech language pathologist, shadowing current professionals this spring before attending graduate school in the fall. The College of Health and Human Sciences is pleased to welcome Molly as the fall 2021 student commencement speaker. Thank you, Dean Harms, for the warm introduction. Welcome fellow graduates, friends, parents, grandparents, and weird uncles who no one invited but who showed up anyway. I'm Molly Killaway, and I'm your class of 2021 student commencement speaker. Now, I'm really not sure whether they just absolutely loved what I wrote in my application or if nobody else applied to do this, but either way, I'm incredibly honored to be standing before you all today. When I think of this graduating class, I think of resilience and adaptability. Each year here, we have had a new challenge thrown our way, and yet we've managed to overcome it all. We came to K-State several years ago as bright-eyed, eager freshmen learning our way through the do's and don'ts of college. We met new people, decided what to major in, and debated whether Kramer or the Derb was the superior dining hall. With our newfound independence came more responsibilities, but we figured out how to balance it all. The next year, some of us studied abroad and some of us lived in our Greek houses, both of which are seemingly monumental adjustments. Then, right when we felt like we had things figured out enough to start making fun of the new little freshmen, COVID made an appearance. Many of us suddenly had to move back home and we dove headfirst into unstructured online classes. Despite all the changes and uncertainty, we finished the semester and thought, Hopefully next year will be better. Well, the next year came and it was bleak. We spent an entire year cooped up in our rooms, staring at our computer screens all day long. We felt isolated and overwhelmed and maybe had to rely more on our parents, roommates, and therapists for support. Even though this wasn't how we expected to spend our time in college, we learned how to succeed and make the most of a less than ideal situation. Then we got one final, mostly normal semester. 
For many of us, it was strange being back on campus. It almost felt like we were freshmen again. But instead of being starry-eyed freshmen, we are teary-eyed seniors, relearning how to do life in person while trying to soak up our last moments here. Graduates, if you could manage to get up and ace your 8 a.m. quiz on a Friday morning after spending a particularly long Thursday night out in the Ville, you can do anything. If you remain resilient and adaptable and continue to hold your passion for helping others above all else, you will absolutely thrive in your future careers. Carry these skills with you and you will change lives. And while you're out there making a difference in the world, always remember the purple and the white. Remember the professors who inspired you and the ones who made you seriously consider dropping out. Remember Catter Days under the lights of the bill and the friends and the memories you made here. Remember all the raspberry bean dip that Aggieville has to offer and always, always remember that the Denison walk sign is on to cross. Never forget to keep a special place in your heart for the spot that you love full well. Forever and always, go Cats. <laughs> Dr. Shauna Jordan will now recognize students wearing cords today. Thank you, Molly. It is now my pleasure to recognize our students who you see wearing cords today with their regalia. Kappa Macron Nu is a national honor society that promotes empowered leaders who use an integrative approach to enhance quality of living through excellence in scholarship, leadership, and research. Kappa Macron Nu students and faculty are wearing burgundy and cream honor cords today. Eta Sigma Delta is an international honor society for students with an excellent, excellent academic record in the hospitality and tourism industry. Eta Sigma Delta students are also wearing cords today as well. Will the members of Kappa Omicron Nu and Eta Sigma Delta please stand? Please join me in recognizing these students. You may now be seated. Would our first generation students please stand? These students are recognized with green cords. As a first generation student, they are the first person in their family to graduate from a four year college. Some of these students are also wearing navy, blue, and gray honor cords, signifying their membership in Tri Alpha Honor Society. Tri Alpha members are first generation students with a GPA of 3.2 or above and have completed more than 32 credit hours. These students here today are part of the first class that has been inducted into K State's chapter of Tri Alpha. Please join me in recognizing these students again. You may be seated. At this time, it is my honor and privilege to introduce today's commencement speaker, Dr. Josh Umber. Josh Umber is a 2003 graduate of the Nutritional Science Program in the College of Health and Human Sciences. Following his time at K-State, Josh pursued his medical degree at the University of Kansas School of Medicine in 2007. He then completed his residency at Wesley Medical Center in Wichita. After completing training and becoming a board certified family physician, Umber opened Atlas MD, a practice that he had been dreaming about for nearly a decade. Atlas MD represents his ideal medical practice where he's able to shrug off the burdens and restrictions of government and insurance regulation so he can focus solely on his patients and their needs. Outside of his office work, Josh, his wife Lisa, and their three children can often be found supporting the Down Syndrome Society of Wichita, 
which provides programs and services to families who, like them, are lucky enough to have someone with Down syndrome in their lives. Please help me welcome our fall 2021 commencement speaker, Dr. Josh Umber. Good afternoon, parents, graduates, family. I'm honored to and grateful to be invited to be your commencement speaker. And when I told my wife that I was given this opportunity, she had just one request, that I don't do anything too cliche. So here are Google's top 10 most cliche things to say during a commencement speech. Seriously though, this is an exciting time in your lives and I hope you're able to look back at your experience and appreciate both the good times and the bad. Uh, specifically, I had a unique experience to go to college with my dad. And uh, at the same time he was going to college to become a lawyer, I was starting my freshman year. And you'd probably think that that's a horrible idea to go to college with your dad, um, and you wouldn't be wrong. How <laughs> However, I wouldn't trade those times for the world because of the experiences and perspective that he was able to bring to my college education. I recall the time where I was pretty upset after completely failing an organic chemistry test and imagining my future medical career circling down the drain. As the loving father that he is, he came upstairs and pinned to the wall a paper from his political science class where the professor gave him a negative thousand. He said, ha, beat that. So I couldn't even be the best failure in the house. <laughs> the Greeks and the Roman Stoics saw gratitude as a kind of medicine. That saying thank you, even for the setbacks, was the key to mental health. That pain in your leg, thank you, it's a reminder to take things slow. That troublesome client, thank you, it's helping me to develop empathy. That failed grade, well, it's an opportunity to relearn the lesson. And yes, we both went on to get slightly higher grades. But since graduating from K-State, I've gone on to medical school, family medicine residency, started a family and several businesses. College is great because it's safe and largely scripted. But I've learned that success in life is messy and a different path for everyone. I may never have been the best student, but I've found success in school and in life by being one of the harder working individuals. In a world that can focus on grades, we forget that not everything that matters can be measured and not everything that uh, you measure matters. The poet Robert Longfellow in his beautiful The Psalm of Life puts it perfectly. Not enjoyment and not sorrow is our destined indoor way but to act that each tomorrow find us further than today, one foot in front of the other. So just every day, one foot in front of the other. The simple and com consistent commitment to daily progress. The Japanese have a word for this called Kaizen, and it's the philosophy of getting better every day. And if you just get 1% ev better every day, it's amazing how far you'll go. Now as you leave college, success will hinge more on what you're able to learn in the future than what you have learned in the past. So the learning isn't over. In many ways, it's only just begun. Every new phase of your life will challenge you to grow and to change. In my opinion, one of the best ways to take on this challenge is to become a lifelong reader. Mark Twain said that those who do not read have no advantage over those who cannot read. Simply put, leaders are readers. Of course, everyone knows the story of Icus's father made him the wings and told him not to fly too close to the sun. He ignored that warning and plunged to his doom. And unfortunately, the implied lesson is to play it safe and aim for the middle. There's comfort in the middle of the bell curve, but we forget that Icarus was also warned not to fly too low because the seawater would ruin the lift in his wings. 
Flying too low or aiming too safe is even more dangerous than flying too high because it's deceptive. But you can't grow by playing it safe. My wish for you is not passion, but purpose. Do not chase the dopamine, the easy, the predictable. Choose the hard, but make sure to choose your hard. Your life will be messy and taking risks is hard, but every day just put one foot in front of the other. Thank you and congratulations to all of the graduates. Please welcome Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alum Association, who will bring greetings on behalf of the K-State Alum Association. I'm excited to join you today to welcome you into the alumni family of Kansas State University and the K-State Alumni Association. As an alumnus, you now join a K-State network of nearly 200,000 living graduates. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. Our core values guide us in our mission to help you stay connected with K-State. Our most important value is LINK. We provide the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, internationally, and even virtually. I encourage you to find other K-Staters in your area and stay connected to Kansas State and the Alumni Association. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a new graduate or take KSU photos at your favorite spot on campus. The final value I'd like to talk about today is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. When you see someone in purple, someone wearing a purple K-State class ring, or with a PowerCat license plate on the back of their vehicle, you will feel that sense of family. In recognition of your graduation, the college, along with the K-State Alumni Association, is providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and will always be an active member. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. Our membership ranks number one in the Big 12 Conference for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. We are also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Thank you, Amy. To the graduates of the class of 2021, your graduation is an important occasion. Your family members and friends, many of whom are with us, have helped you to achieve your goal of earning a college degree. Will you please join me in a round of applause to thank them. In addition, will the faculty in the College of Health and Human Sciences please rise so that we can thank and commend you. And now, the moment we have gathered to celebrate, will all the candidates for the degrees from the College of Health and Human Sciences please stand. By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of degree requirements, I am pleased to confer upon you the respective baccalaureate degrees you have earned in the College of Health and Human Sciences at Kansas State University. You may now move your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. <clears throat> 
Congratulations to all the members of the class of 2021. You may be seated. Before you make your way to the stage, we have a few housekeeping items. Masks can be removed for your photographs. Once the photo is taken, please put your mask back on. Also, please remember to bring your grad pass with you as you come to the stage. Dr. Mindy Markham will present the degree candidates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences. Will the degree candidates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences please stand and come forward. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Applied Human Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Family Studies and Human Services, Communication Sciences and Disorders, Sydney June Van Dyke, summa cum laude. Allison Rose Arredondo, summa cum laude. JC Joe Blazek, summa cum laude. Haley Marie Miller. Janae Ann Skaggs, cum laude. Lily Ann Ellen Kennedy, summa cum laude. Gracie Sue Meyer, cum laude. Lene Grace Getz, summa cum laude. Peyton Dane Trinan, Carson Rose Smith. Michaela Dawn Jones. Lauren Nache Cox, magna cum laude. Molly Rose Killele, summa cum laude. Early Childhood Education. Caitlin Marie Steiner. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in General Human Ecology, Family and Consumer Sciences Education, Emma Rose Oberly. Sydney Joe Gerfin. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Human Development and Family Science. Chloe A. Quick. Megan Martha Strecker. Melissa Rose Carson. Magna cum laude. Olivia Elaine Falk. Sybil Renee Robinson. Abigail Laureen Wordsworth. Kate E. Soto. Caitlin Laura Cash. Lindsay Abigail Hinton. Taylor Nicole Martins. Tiana Faye Southers. Magna cum laude. Paige Marie Heger, cum laude. Hannah Nicole Hill. Jessica Jo Williams, summa cum laude. Camber Elizabeth English, summa cum laude.
Grace Christine Johns, summa cum laude. Elena Marie Castens, summa cum laude. Emily Page King. Brooke E. Allen. Haley Christine Bartles. Samantha Lawson. Miracle Janae Butler. Amelia R. Scott Sanger. Joshua David Rivas. Dr. Tonda Kidd will present the degree candidates from the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates for the Department of Food, Nutrition, Dietetics, and Health. Bachelor of Science in Athletic Training, Peyton Carlton Marshall. Mackenzie Ann Womack. Her mask. Peyton and Goeth. Matthew Henry Ewert. Bachelor of Science in Dietetics. Kimberly Marie Burgess. Caitlin Lisa Kimball. Brandy A. Gale. Catherine E. Dwyer. Daniela Solis. Jahara Alfalfa. Malak Al Salti. Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, Nutrition and Health, Curtis Dwight Cavender, Jr. <laughs> Emily Jane Ursick. Shay Elizabeth Shiddix. Mary Catherine Fitter. Dominique Xanthi Morales. Kelly Annette Hogan. Brennan Robert Burks. Mia Mistel Malkavy. Abigail Grace Strode. Kaylee Marie Jean Francois.
Annie Gabrielle Tinker. <laughs> Nutrition and Kinesiology, Jacqueline Hope Medina Smith. Dr. Kevin Roberts will present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Hospitality Management. Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management, Molly Ann Barb. Zachary Winfield Allred. Ivy May Bogle. Anna Grace Whiteley. Jacob Allen Casey, magna cum laude. <clears throat> James Ray Cook. Myron Kennedy Peterson, the second. Christina Danielle Zemenchek. Agnes Olivia Acock. Luke Samuel Lewis. Brittany O'Brien Folk. <laughs> William Q. Unsdefer. Barbara Anderson will present the degree candidates from the Department of Interior Design and Fashion Studies. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Interior Design and Fashion Studies. Bachelor of Science in Apparel and Textiles, Grace Victoria Oste. Hannah Marie Lecure. Jenna Ray Namanak. Andrea Reese Reynolds, magna cum laude. Sophia Neal. Morgan Lee Betancourt, magna cum laude. Jordan R. Lobel. Abriana Camille Throm. Kelly Talamente Spokanagra. Oh, that's it. Dr. Emily Maley will present the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology.
Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Kinesiology. Reese Donald Wewer. Devin Lynn Conley. Nicole Joanne Pearson. Carly Joelle Seaton. Devaney Nicole Borgman. Angel Lino Martinez. Jackson William Cooper. Kaylee Sue Simon. Mary Lucille Bayich. Isabella Madison Rodriguez. <laughs> Patricia A. Noriega. Trevor Dale Brashears. Aiden Michael Mills. Delaney Grace Bird. Derek Andrew Bowman. Madison Jean Welsh. Nishay Monique Nixon. Dr. Martin C. will present the degree candidates from the Department of Personal Financial Planning. Dean Harms, I present the degree candidates from the Department of Personal Financial Planning. Bachelor of Science in Personal Financial Planning, Olivia McKenzie Stingo, summa cum laude. Alex Nicholas Miller. Please join me in congratulating all of our graduates. Graduates, you came to Kansas State University from all corners of the world, and for a brief moment in time, your lives converged in the classrooms and laboratories and studios in the College of Health and Human Sciences. It has been a privilege for us to help you learn. From here, your lives will once again diverge as you pursue advanced degrees and careers. And as you follow your passions, through as yet unnotable life pursuits. As you start your new lives, I would like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. Do not think of your newly minted degrees as a ticket to a specific place, but rather as a passport that you can take, take you to an unlimited number of destinations. 
Indeed, as a privileged passport holder, you have access to places that you cannot even imagine. Embrace the journey, but be generous with your time, talents, and resources. As college graduates, you are a privileged group. Take offers with you on your fab fabulous journey. Invest, your size, invest yourself in the lives of others, your community, and your alma mater. The College of Health and Human Sciences and Kansas State University are extremely proud of each of you. Please stay connected to your K-State family. We can't wait to see where your journey takes you. Once again, congratulations and best wishes to the College of Health and Human Sciences graduating class of 2021. At this time, I'd like to invite you to stand and join in the singing of the alma mater for the first time as alumni. At the end of the song, please follow the directions of the marshals for the recessional. 